Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 42 of Direwolf20 server play series. Hey, we got an update to Thumbcraft. Woot! Uh, check out this new toy that I got. It's so cool. It is called the Wand of Excavation. Ooh, it's pretty fancy. I'm not going to show you guys the recipe for it. You got to discover that on your own. So ha ha ha. But uh, check out the cool things it can do. Oh yeah, I'm going down to excavate somewhere. Ooh, it's excavating for me. Look at it go. It has a pretty decent range. Look at that, it's ridiculous. So yeah, nice long range on the block. It will uh, kind of dig as long as you hold the right mouse button. Of course it does use durability, so you have to make a new one every now and then. Um, but it's, uh, it's a pretty cool wand, I like it. Uh, it won't excavate everything though. Like I haven't been able to get these trees. Um, I don't think I can get wood either. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working too well. But dirt it's got no problem with. And like from a decent distance away too, look at that. How awesome, dude. Plus, like, you know, epic particle effects are epic. Chilling on the server today, Neptune Pink, Floristar, Eddie Ruckus, Elaram, Covert Jaguar, and Tog. What's up, everybody? Hey. Hey. Hello. And, uh, yeah, I have a couple things I probably want to get to working on today. Um, aside from playing with new Thomcraft goodies. Hey, Flora. Just chilling. Mm-hmm. I'm talking it through, to Eddie through his stream. Cool. Uh, I did get a new type of golem worker, by the way. Um, I'm pretty sure this is one of the hidden um, recipes or the hidden things. You can see that this tallow golem worker has the ability to uh, refill water inside your cauldrons for you. So that's kind of neat. Um, I've been told that there's some things, like you can see those like blinking ones that I haven't discovered yet. Um, there's also some researches that um, I have not yet discovered and aren't showing up on here they're like hidden researches so that's kind of cool too i have to just figure out what that's all about i want to make this arcane door i need a zombie brain fail i swear i had zombie brains like i know i had zombie brains what we need is a zombie brain making machine room that's it like i'm inches away from creating a new age that's a void age that's literally just going to be a mob spawner what do you guys think I'm, I'm feeling the mob spawning void age, like, a little bit. Because I know I had zombie brains. I want to know what happened to them. It's really bothering me, because I know I had them, and I can't find them anywhere in any of my chests. I even, like, went back to old videos to see if I was completely out of my mind, and I couldn't see them in my old videos either, so I must be out of my mind. But I know I had some. I just need one to play with. Everybody's like, no, we refuse to vote. We're just going to stand around and be weird. All right, so uh, other things I'm going to do this episode, I think I might want to play with a little bit of thermal expansion. I know there's some stuff I want to get checking out in there. Um, I'll check out a few more Thomcraft toys if I can get to them. I want to get a zombie brain so I can try out that arcane door. It sounds kind of neat. Um, it's apparently, do brainy zombies come out of spawners? Um, I'm guessing we can make a soul shot. I don't think so, far. I need to figure out if he can make a soul shard for brainy zombies, because maybe I'll do that. Let me go test that in single player. All right, guys, I'm back from single player and discovered that soul shards work, so I'm going to make one. Dun, dun, dun. Take off cheat mode. Ooh, yay, they do. Yay. Diamond, soul sand, glowstone. Do I have any soul sand in here? No, but I can go get some pretty easily. By the way, do we have a recipe for Wand of the Thaumaturk yet? I don't know that we do. I don't see it anywhere. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to the nether. Everybody panic. I don't even know that we have a book that leads to the nether. All I know of is the nether portal by the village. Uh, we're also trying to figure out uh, ender chest assignments because uh, ender chests were on the server for a while uh, and they are they were broken. And we recently got them fixed. Like, Chicken Bones sorted out his uh, weirdness. So, like, cool, I guess. I don't know what all this stuff is about. Direwolf 20, nether. Really? All right, guys, I'm back. Eddie Ruckus hooking me up with some soul sand. Because uh, I apparently crash every time I go to the nether. I don't know why that happens. Um, oh, thank you, Eddie. And uh, Neptune says he has the same problem. But Tog says I'm crazy. So... I blame Tog. 
Nice, soul shard. So I need to hold this in my inventory um, and kill brainy zombies, which I'm gonna have to wait for night for. But they'll eventually collect, and I'll need at least 200 of them to get like the tier one spawner, which isn't that great, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, and it would be another 200 if I want to get like higher tiers, like 200 per tier. So it would get like crazy expensive pretty quick. You have to have it in your hot bar just so you don't like start killing them. Yeah, I know. Like, it, I think it can be in your inventory after it's been assigned. No. No. Pretty sure and it has to be in your hot bar. Sure, you need to check that. Oh, yeah, and YouTube is probably seeing the Sortron. This was uh, LRM demonstrating to me how the Sortron works. I will have a video up, if not already, uh, but then soon, about how the Sortrons work and, uh, like, a video dedicated to them. So, just FYI, Sortron video coming up soon. All right, so I got to find some zombies, and now I want to start playing around with uh, Buildcraft Power. I might wind up doing this. Do I want to do this in New Digger? Do I want to set up all my Buildcraft Power in New Digger? That might be cool. I was thinking, like, a Buildcraft Power Factory might be fun. And store them in those new energy storage blocks that Thermal Expansion gives. And New Digger just seems like a cool place to set that up. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Let me think about how I want to build this little area, and I'll be back in a few. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, so I got to pulverize some stuff. Uh, first off, I'm going to pulverize some obsidian. Now, uh, obsidian pulverization, I wonder if that costs more energy. I'm just curious. Oh, yeah, look at that. It does. It makes 800 mega Minecraft jewels instead of 320 for the regular. So it's going to take a little bit longer to pulverize all this obsidian down. Um, but we're going to need it, so we're going to get to it. So what I want to make is uh, pretty much this thing. Uh, the redstone energy cell. And I just dropped something I did come back here you redstone energy cell cool uh for that i'm gonna need the energy storage empty uh that guy will require some lead which i have on me uh one of those redstone conductance coils which is easy redstone i have redstone on me of course i don't have redstone on me why would, I, why, why would i bring redstone to make a redstone contraption that would be like way way too smart um what else did i need some other cool things throwing this away don't need him at the moment uh i need some Hardened glass. That's why I'm smelting the um, obsidian, because I need to combine in an induction smelter pulverized obsidian with lead, and that'll get me the hardened glass, or pulverized lead if I happen to have any, which I don't. But we have an induction smelter around here somewhere. Here it is, this thing. This guy is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, if you didn't watch my mod spotlight. Um, basically allows you to double your ore instantly uh so instead of having two machines a macerator and then a furnace uh you can do it all in one but you need to keep a steady supply of sand in the left slot there so constantly feeding it sand uh, will get your induction smelter working it's also used to make the hardened glass uh the copper ingots and then i have another item i need to make this one's even a little bit crazier um well probably not too crazy and why does that keep hopping up to my cursor bad inventory tweaks which is i assume what's doing it uh i need to hey, get some electrum Yo. Is New Digger Eternal Day? Of course it is. I made it. Then, oh, were you going to make a mob spawn underground? Not necessarily. Why? Then, um, uh, mm, how would you, how would you make a mob spawner if it's Eternal Day? Uh, it wasn't going to be a mob spawner. I said I was going to make a new void age for that purpose. Ah. Ah. Suddenly Dire makes sense. <laughs> Go induction smelter, go. So again, requiring a bit of power to cook this thing up, but uh, it shouldn't be, yeah, oh, well, yeah, see like 800 mega Minecraft jewels, right, awesome. Cool, so we'll let that stuff smelt. I uh, probably need a little bit more lead in there, like that much. Why? Don't you think that's a cool idea? I was thinking like void age, like maybe eternal no, no, day. No, no, no. Kind of like I did in my season four single player. It's totally cool, I was just wondering. You are just not trusting me. I see how it is. I, I just I, I wanted understand. to get some brains for myself. I understand. I want to help. I will help. I will help. You're helping. I'll make a void age. I don't know if I'm going to do it this episode or not, but uh, I definitely Aww. will make a void age. Um, I need to make some um, electrum blend. Mm. Pulverized silver is the next component of this. I don't know how much I need. I'm just guessing at this point. I really like the uh, pulverizer and stuff. Like, these are cool little toys that we get to play with now. 
I need a diamond as well. Might as well go get one, because I'm going to need them. So yeah, this thing is going to store energy. Is King Lemming around, by the way? Um... I don't see him. I was going to be all, hey, I'm playing with your mod. So this guy... And yeah, this he guy. has an update. Yeah, there is a new update, isn't there? Magma Crucible. Probably just throw it in any old smelter. Like the blue electric furnace. Perfect. Electrum blend. Get me some electrum blue electric furnace. Hardened glass. We're good with that. Alright, so I think we're pretty close to what I need to make here. So let's get out our trusty little crafting table. Was it two redstone? Yeah, it is. Awesome. I'll be back in a minute once the electrum's done cooking. Alright, this is mostly enough, at least to get started. So, get my glass going in here and the diamond. Did I always invert these? I hate recipes that are like this. I always invert them. And then I think it was Electrum. This dude. Yeah, this energy storage thing is a complicated-ish recipe. I mean, it's not terrible, but, you know, some things are involved. Lead. Am I doing this wrong? Electrum, lead, energy storage frame, redstone conductance. Oh, that's a reception coil. What's a conductance coil then? Electrum in between. Okay, cool. That's my problem. Yes. So that looks very similar to the other thing, doesn't it? See, look how similar they look. Why do they have the same texture? Or whatever that is. Icon? Why do they have that? I'll have to poke him and be like, hey, those things should not look alike. Cool. Energy storage. Empty. Now the thing about empty energy storage is, is they don't do anything. You can't place them in the world, you can't do anything with them, um, but, you know, you can try, but nothing's going to happen. So what you got to do is throw them inside the liquid transposer. Remember a few episodes back, I liquefied some redstone? Well, that's what that's for. Um, where'd you go, blue? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so there we go. The redstone is uh, pouring into that item, and then we should find a bunch of it disappears. Yes, 2,000 of that liquid redstone, and we've got a redstone energy cell. Nice. So now this guy's ready to accept energy. How am I going to fill him with energy? Well, I was thinking about sending him down here, actually, as a matter of fact. There's also one thing I want to test. Uh, let's go home for a second. I'm kind of curious. Where's my buildcraft toys? I wonder if he added gate conditionals to this thing yet. Iron and gate and red pipe wire. You know what else I should probably grab? If I have any. There we go. Golden Conductive. I'm going to go down here. So, Dyer, what range you want? Range? For uh, ender chest things. Oh, colors? I don't care. Yeah. User was moved to your channel. Okay, so let's see. Everything is running because why? Hi, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Why is everything running at the moment? Hey, guys. What's up? Eddie oh, Ruckus joining us, lot. everybody. I'm recording, by the way, Eddie. But uh, YouTube, Eddie Ruckus. Eddie Ruckus, awesome. YouTube. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of things YouTube. in my centrifuge. How's it going, machine? machine? Is filter not filtering, or what's up? Did I backlog something? I must have filled something up. Did you do something wrong again? Always. Do I ever not do anything wrong? No comment. Lots of room there. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. User joined your channel. 
Okay, things are not clogged. Why is this setup clogged? Um, is not an answer. User joined your channel. Okay, I guess it's just doing its thing. That's still working from before when I sent the collector in, isn't it? Probably. All right, YouTube, I'll be back in a minute. Oh. All right, guys, we're back to recording. King Lemming and Zelda joined us, and Soren's here now, too. What's up, buddy? I did not. It was nighttime, so instead of, like, actually building something, I decided to kill a bunch of zombies because I want their brains, even though that's not an angry zombie. It's okay. Yeah. Angry zombies, where are you? Red eyes. Red eyes. There's one. Yeah, there's a, there's a new research item that uh, I know happens to require brains. Um, also, like, I need brains for that door that I found. So I've been killing brainy zombies with my new sword that I got last episode, Looting 3. Makes getting zombie brains a little bit easier. No, it's daylight. No. I wonder if I can repair the sword on, like, my last one. Maybe I can combine the sword with that sword. That would be cool, No, too. I yeah. have no food. You can combine uh, enchantments as far as I know, too. Yeah. Well, I like this sword even better than the last one, because this has uh, sharpness and looting three. Yeah. Which is awesome. That zombie has a shovel. Ha! <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> All right, YouTube. Out. I am going to go... Uh, since it's daytime now, I actually start playing with this. So uh, King Lemming is here. I asked him about the gate conditionals. He said they're not in yet, but it is something they're working on. So I'm going to place this thingy right around here somewhere. I don't know where. Um, what I should probably do, maybe put a lever on it. That could be cool. Yeah. Uh, let's do this. Where's my thing end? There. Where do I want to build my charging station for this thing? I could also put it over here somewhere, because I have, uh... This is plenty of room. Oh, look, there's, uh, something happening here. Where does this power line go to? Did I build that power line? I didn't build this power line. Where's this going? Power line where? What's all that? There's power going places. That's specific. Oh, it's going up here, is it? Somebody connected the power line in my uh, liquids room to the power line in this area. Oh, look, there's um, a little underground thing here, too. This is new. -ish. I think it's uh, Covert, because I think he's maintaining this entire area. Covert's been doing all kinds of stuff, hasn't he? Yeah, he took out my ender chest, which was using the excess charcoal to fuel my boiler, and it was max temperature when I left. Now Where's all this not. power going? Uh, what power line are you seeing? Back here. Back there. Oh well. I'm gonna hook this up. Power line hookup time to the redstone energy cell. Except Tog standing where I want to be. Boom! Boom! Now I've moved. <laughs> Alright. Building up energy. Hooray! Max input 100 Minecraft jewels per tick. I'm gonna set it to zero output because I don't want it outputting anything. It won't right. output unless you have a conduit or a wooden pipe. Yeah. I figured as much, but that's cool. So I'm going to let that guy charge um, and drain all the powers. You can set it to 125, too. The 100 mm -hmm. is just a nice, healthy default. Yep. Okay, that, that's that's the max, I guess, 125. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Nice. How many brainy zombies did I kill, by the way? I killed uh, about 10. So, 190 to go. They sigh. That's going to be a long build. Whoa, holy sword of epicosity. What'd you get, Elo? A? You have to try repairing the sword, too. I want to see if that works. Yeah, I think the way the anvil's coated right now, uh, almost anything will work. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I had a sword that I just could not repair. I got up to level 40, and it was, like, too expensive. See, now this is telling huh. me enchantment cost. Like, enchantment cost means that's the level required to enchant the sword, right? Uh, I think it costs uh, some... Yeah, it's experience cost to repair it, depending. Right. Like, it says enchantment cost, and that's how much it costs to repair the sword. Now, if I put a diamond sword in there, I'm guessing it'll be a lower enchantment cost. Too expensive. How does that make sense? 
What is this manager block? Apparently an update for Red Power 2. Yes, the manager is cool. It's, um, are you looking in the shared resource room down there? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So I need to get to level 36 to repair my diamond sword. Okay, that's good to know. All right, YouTube, I'll be back. I have to clear my inventory. Maybe I'll show uh, Zelda, the manager. You guys have all seen it before, and I'll be back in a few. All right, guys, I am having a little bit of fun. Um, I'm taking a break from the build I was working on a minute ago where I was making that uh, nifty little... Well, I'm charging up the thing, so that's happening at the moment. Uh, I have to figure out how this crazy magic door works. That's what I want to make, the magical door. So uh, check out the recipe on this thing. We need, for the arcane door, uh, an iron door, some thaumium, and a zombie brain, which I have all the stuff for. And I've also got four Imperio, four Cognito, and eight Machinima. Neat. Um, where's that metal thing? Ah, uh, thaumium. Yes, it's eight metal and four magic. Okay, I can manage that. I don't think there's anything that's pure magic, right? Not really, no. You use the shards though. Or blaze rods now. Blaze rods are pure magic? Or no. They have fire on it. Cool. Gonna get my adept wand. I maybe even want to make one of those golems that'll constantly refill this thing for me, because uh yeah, they're not gonna be good. Also bottles are bugged, so I can't refill the cauldron with bottles. So I made an infinite really? water source over here. Yeah, cauldrons are bugged at the moment. You can't use bottles on them. Oh. I know, that's what I said. Oh. What about uh, build crap pipes? Still work? They still work. Okay. Boom. Did you steal my thumb? <laughs> I was like, you inside it. No, I was like, I got thumb. Did you get one or two? I got one. Oh, okay. I guess I need more thaumium then. They're expensive. A little bit. User joined your channel. Hey, King Lemmy, you here? Hey, Matabase. Yeah. What's up, man? I'm recording, hey, by the way. Okay. Hey, King, you here? Yeah, man. What's up? Hey, did you ever consider if a, a mod adds some weird things to the or dictionary that the lexicon might be a little unbalancing? I did. Actually, that occurred to me with Red Power. I'm Did working you... on a fix for that right now where actually you can, uh, it'll be a text file just in the config and anything that the server admin puts in there, that entire category is ignored. Oh, thank God. Thank Wait, what now is unbalancing uh, about the lexicon? Uh, Greg Tech happens to add recipes that electronic circuits can be turned into buildcraft logic gates in the or dictionary. Yeah, I can, Interesting. I'll, I can tweet that. Yeah, great. Well, That'll what... happen. Yeah, what Great Tech actually does is allow you to craft a lot of the Great Tech stuff using Buildcraft logic gates in place of IC2 things. But to do that, it adds them to Ord Dictionary, which the lexicon can then transform <laughs> things like Emerald and Electronic Circuits oh, into magic. Auto Archaic Gates. Nice. Well, the good news there is the lexicon obviously works. Oh, it works great. So uh, for those watching YouTube at the moment, not knowing what the lexicon is, it's a mod that um, uh, King Lemming is working on. That will... you speak multiple languages. What's that? Allows you to speak multiple languages. Yes, exactly. Actually, it's a or dictionary converter. So it's for yeah. people like King Lemming who release mods without or dictionary support. Haha, <laughs> dig it, King Lemming. Um, <laughs> I made the same joke. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, basically, safe. it's um, it's you, it's, it's an account. item. Is it a block or is it an item? Block. It is block. a tile entity, which is. Basically, a oh, reskinned block. enchantment table, except it looks way better. Yeah, it's a block, basically. Um, nice. It's it's released. Uh, it's part of Omni Tools, which includes the Omni Wrench and the Lexicon. It's out. Download link on the Thermal Expansion Wiki. Well, there you go, guys. Go check it out. Uh, it's basically like you can put items in there, like copper ore from Red Power, and you can pull out copper ore from Industrial Craft or copper ore from uh, Thermal Expansion or that kind of thing. So it's basically like you can manually switch between the different types of copper ore. Ooh, insufficient charge from the Wand of the Apprentice. Look at that. The magic door needs a better wand. Sorry, I'm distracted. There oh, we go. Is there new research? Kind of... Yeah, there is. What's up? Ooh, I finished the last research, so I, gotta, I guess I got to get caught up. Oh, or like, here's a problem, right? Like, insufficient charge. Why isn't my wand recharging? Not enough magic uh, in the area? Try... Ooh, my place is magic. I think he regenerate no. the nodes. He did regenerate the nodes, but like, there's magic in the aura where I'm at. And I'm sure there's oh. a node nearby. 
Do I have to be, I like, closer to a node? I didn't see one. Oh, there's one. And I, and I contacted... Uh, oh, yeah, look, Dave. it's charging when I go outside my house. Awesome. But not inside my house. We had to regen the, um, the nodes uh, on the server because of some reason. So is that enough charge now? Okay, now it's enough charge. Okay, is so I don't need one of the adept. Uh, something with, he changed the way it works. All awesome. right, so eight machinima, good. Uh, eight, or four cognito and four imperio. Uh, King, I also I also contacted Dave Bucky, the author of the unofficial port of Logic Pipes, to, to fix his wrench thing. Cool. Um, uh, one thing I'm wondering though, uh, his Logic Pipes, I, I've never looked at the code on those. Are they actually pipes or the logic pipes blocks? Because now conduits will no longer connect to pipes at all. It's uh, to avoid a lot of issues. They're the probably. same thing as uh, they're the same thing as built car pipes. Yeah, so they're not going to get powered by conduits anymore. Well, they shouldn't. They you don't you cannot directly power the GCS pipes. You have to go through a, a, a converter block. Oh, okay. I did not know that. So it's still fine yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, you can still power them with conduit, which I intend to do. So yeah, I have to like take my wand outside my house somewhere, and like once it's, <laughs> I guess like I have to find a node or get closer to one. When I get closer to like this area, it looks like it charges. So I guess you have to actually get somewhat close to a node in order for the wand to charge. It won't just charge from the beast anywhere. Like you have to get closer to a node. That's kind of neat. I like that actually mechanic. Well, that makes like, the magic actually kind of matter. It does. It kind of encourages you to build your workshop near a node, which I did have before we regened. And I'm too lazy to move everything. Oh well, that's fine. Let's check out this magic door. There's a magic door now, by the way, Matabase. I want to see uh, it. I'm pretty sure there's a magic door uh, from what I from what I gather. Yeah. You have managed to imprint the memory of its creator on the door. The door will refuse to open for anyone but the person who placed it. And oh, since it is nice. reinforced with thaumium, it is also highly resistant to being broken by anyone else. Well, there goes wow. my chance of actually looking at it. Well, I'll see what I'll watch you go through it. That's awesome, isn't it? Though, get a chance of. That is cool. All right, try and open the cool. door, Soren. I don't think I want to. Oh, that's a cool sound. Is Did it making that? different sounds, or is that just my ears? <laughs> oh, no, he just has a random uh, pitch. Come on inside. So I guess pressure plates don't work on these doors, then. I guess they're, like, ignoring redstone type of deal. Yeah, so you Which would you make perfect have... sense. <laughs> <laughs> you just place one down. Oh, look, I got in. Oh, look, a lever works. Oh, her, derpy derp. <laughs> it's like an iron door. It's just worthless. I like it. I like that a lot, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I am I'll going to use this. I am not kidding. Okay. And you shouldn't be able to break it. See if you can break it. One second. That is. Anyways, if you... I just what is that in your hand? King Roman goes away. So if you're making a conflict call, you'd be my hero, King. Can you break it with a drill? I'm curious. Uh, no. I'm not on it. Uh, I mean, it's got a cracking effect. You want to drop down to my room with me real quick? Yeah, let me do that. It does. I bet I have a way to get through that door, though. Yeah, I think I do too. But um, either he has it set so when it tries to break, it'll just reset and say no, or something like that. It looks like it's just taking a long time to break. It does look like it's breaking, though. Yeah. If this actually does break in, there's no drop, just cheat yourself. That's okay. Like, I won't complain if it breaks eventually. But I, I think that's cool. User left I do want to try one more thing after this, if this doesn't break. Well, I want to try breaking oh. the block that it's sitting on. I'm yeah, sure that's I what I was going to do. He <laughs> says most doors. Oh, no, I think it just stopped at the end point. I don't know, it's still cracking on my screen. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> Mine. Yes, apparently yours. At my door. That is a neat little toy. I like that door, dude. Oh, the room that you closed for renovations? Oh, cool. It tells me the door refuses to budge. That's <laughs> awesome. 
Now, like, of course, with anything in Minecraft, like, you can, you know, dig around the wall, or you can break the block it's on to get through, but still, it's a neat mechanic. I like that. All right, YouTube, we'll, be, we'll, we'll be back in a minute. Actually, I want to go check on my uh, power generation thing, and then I'll, I'll, I'll clip the video for a minute. I want to go see how my uh, thing is refilling. Dum -de -de dum 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 Are you charging still? Yeah, you're charging still. Nice. Because we still have, what, more work to do in here? Yeah, I better, like, manually turn on these things. I guess that was uh, from the centrifuge getting items. Ooh, I found a sound error. What's that? You know how it's made that weird clank noise when you try to open it? Yeah. If you right click on the top of the block when you can open it, it makes a normal door noise. But if you click on the bottom of it, it makes that clank noise and shuts and opens. Two different sounds. Ah, cool. I like that. A wooden door noise. Interesting. It sounds neat. Backup happening. Alright, let's go set up this thing so I can manually turn on and off the charger. You're having too much fun with the door. The door is a lot of fun, I'm not going to lie. So this thing I'm going to set up to be... There's what I was looking for. Redstone signal on emits a red pipe wire. So that I can then do this. Lever. King Lemming, uh, redstone energy cells don't respond to redstone signals at all, do they? Yes, they, they do. do. They do? You can control. disable it through the tab, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, disabled. That's right, they do. Why did I not realize that? Wow, it must be late and I'm tired. Which are both true. Yep. So that should emit and turn on all the engines. Nice, and it does. So that'll force the engines to stay on even when there's no work to be done. Um, because there's not yet a has work or, like, you know, not full conditional on the redstone energy cell. So, that's okay, though. We'll be cool. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. And oh yes, definitely wrapping up time for this episode. Are you having fun, Soren? A little. A little bit. Nice. Uh, yeah, wrapping up point. Dum -da -da -dum. Uh, episode 42 getting wrapped up. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed checking it out. We've got this awesome um, charge of stuff happening here, the redstone energy cell. So I'm able to uh, you know store a bunch of buildcraft power for use here and there. Um, I'm going to pretty much use this thing to, you know, like, quick one-offs needing of power, that type of thing. Um, going forward, I've got a bunch of other stuff to do. I want to check out some of the new Thalmcraft research, so I'll be researching between now and then. As usual, I'm not showing you the way to research the items on camera, because I want you to have to figure them out yourself. Um, so, yep, I'll be back next time, hopefully with a few more Thalmcraft toys, uh, some more thermal expansion stuff I want to get into. Oh man, tons of stuff. And then uh, Steve's carts is doing pretty well. My cart from last episode, uh, I've had him mine a little bit more. He's been collecting items for me. Even got a few diamonds from him, so I'm pretty pleased with that. So this is Direwolf 20 signing off on episode 42. Hope you enjoyed it, and take it easy!